Hi, I'm Bruce Asher. In this video, we've been looking at the noise gate in Cubase. The noise gate is another form of dynamic processor. So let's have a look. I've got an audio loop. And you can hear it's a pretty simple rock drum loop. I'm going to go into the inspector here and I'm going to choose dynamics to so the dynamics folder there and I'm going to choose the noise gate. Let's open that up. So you can see here we have the input and output levels, we have a threshold control, we have the analysis section and various other elements that we can tweak. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it so it analyzes just for peaks. I'm going to bring the threshold right up to 0 dB, so maximum level. I'm going to play the audio. And you can see what I got was just a little bit of burst of audio and nothing else. If I bring the, audio, bring the threshold right down, we get the audio. Let's move the threshold up. And you can keep an eye on this little light here. What you'll see is as I push this up, it only goes green momentarily. And as I push it up to the top as I did before, I start to get absolutely nothing. Let's bring it back down again. And now let's bypass it. So you can see what's happening, it's only letting those peaks through. And what it's effectively doing is once the audio level gets to this point of at least minus 12.9 dB, it will open the signal path. When it falls below it, it will close it. But it doesn't do it immediately, it does it based on the timing characteristics of these different elements here. So if I change the attack, hold and release to be very, very fast, it will open and close very, very quickly. So effectively, that peak is just letting through the audio momentarily. As I bring it down, you start to get a little bit more of the audio coming through. Now, the attack time in this case, we probably want to leave be pretty fast, so we get the attack of those drums. But I'll probably bring the release up a little bit and maybe the hold up a little bit. It means it just stays open for a little bit longer. In effect, what it does, that hold time means once the gate is triggered to be open, it will stay open for at least 60 milliseconds. And then it will take 50 milliseconds to fall down and it will slowly close the level back down to, so it's actually closed completely. So you can see here, I'm still capturing some of those hi-hat sounds. I'm actually capturing some of those. Let's push it up a little bit more. And as I push it up, it seems to uh, capture only some of those more peak-based elements. So in other words, you can see the, sort of the kick and the snare elements there. And you can see actually, if you look at the visuals here, where it starts to pick, pick the sounds up. In fact, we can also change the range of what it's actually doing. If the range is zero dB, it does nothing. As I bring that range down, what it's doing is it's changing the difference between when the gate is open and when it's closed. So down here, it's effectively either completely open or it's completely closed. When I set it to somewhere around here, like say, I don't know, about five, six dB, it's saying when it's open, it lets the full signal through. When it's closed, it just basically drops the level by five dB. So in this case, it starts to emphasize those more peak-based elements. We can also change the way it analyzes the signal from just detecting peaks to a more average loudness-based analysis. And we can also play around with you know, the threshold, the range, the release. We can have automatic release. We can obviously play around with the attack and hold to actually customize what we're actually trying to do. So in this case, really what we're doing, we're using it to clean up a drum track. Uh, it can be used um, to clean up multi-track drums if you want to avoid, if you want to take out some of the bleed coming from other microphones in a multi-drum, multi multi-mic setup. But it can also be used creatively where you can actually feed a side chain into it to control it externally and do lots of other kind of interesting creative-based effects with it. 
So in this video, we looked at the noise gate in Cubase and we saw how we can apply it to a drum loop and we set the threshold and once the audio reaches above that threshold, it lets the audio through. And once it falls below that threshold, it starts to cut it out based on the characteristics that we've set within the plugin itself.